What is going on YouTube Nation? This is Dark David and if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so don't miss future videos. So XYLG is a new covered call ETF by Global X, and it's a very interesting covered call ETF and I'll do a review on it. And um, I did one on QYLG and I kind of explain why it's better than QYLD, but XYLG is very unique and different than QYLD, RYLD, and XYLD. So I'm gonna review these guys and basically explain to you why I think one is better than the other or better than all three. So make sure you smash that like button. Again, hit that notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Check these um, guys out. And unfortunately, M1 Finance does not have them on there yet. I did send them an email to try to get XYLG uh, DJIA and uh, QYLG, and unfortunately, they didn't add them. But let's check these guys out right now. So, XYLG is a very interesting covered call ETF by Global X. So, it's sitting at 2987. So, right now, it was a little bit in line with the SP, and then it took a little bit of a hit. So, we really need to look into the nitty and gritty of this covered call ETF. We need to go over expense ratio, we need to know. Um, dividend distribution, we need to know um, how it compares against QYLD, RYLD, and XYLD. So let's check these guys out on the Global X website. First, XYLG seeks to generate income by writing covered calls in the underlying index. By writing calls on 50% of the portfolio, the strategy allows investors to capture half of the upside potential of the underlying index. So XYLG expects to make distributions on a monthly basis. So the net asset value right now is 29.83. You saw its price was going up a little bit and it was in line with the S&P. Has a 6.18% dividend yield. Uh, the trailing yield was 8.24%. The expense ratio is 0.60%. So basically this is what these guys are about. The ETF summary states, the Global X S&P 500 Cover Call and Growth ETF, XYLG, follows a cover call and buy right strategy in which the fund buys the stocks in the S&P 500 index and writes or sells corresponding call options on approximately 50% of the value of the portfolio stocks in the same index. The Global X S&P 500 Cover Call and Growth ETF seeks to provide investment results that correspond generally to the price and yield performance before it fees and expenses of uh, the S&P 500 buy right index. So right here, we always want to look at the top holdings right here. So Apple's a big one, Microsoft, Amazon, Tesla, Alphabet, uh, Class A and C, Berkshire B, United Health Group, NVIDIA, Johnson Johnson, uh, Meta Platform. So you got some pretty good ones in the top group of Visa, Exxon, JP Morgan, Procter & Gamble. Um, those are pretty good dividend stocks as well. But again, these are covered call options. I don't have uh, the time or money right now being in graduate school to um, pretty much do options. And, you know, once I start travel nursing in the fall, which I'm planning on doing, that's one thing. Where I'm going to have a lot more money and I may do options, but these guys do it pretty uh, easier. I mean, they make it easier for me and they make my life easier more simple and that's the way i like it i don't like things complicated I, I like things simple and this is what these guys do so let's check out qyld ryld and xyld right here qyld seeks to generate income through covered call writing which historically produces higher yields in periods of volatility qyld has made monthly distributions in eight years running they write call options on the nasdaq 100 index saving investors the time and potential uh, expense of doing so individually. So again, you know, this is a little bit, um, you know, right here, you got Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Tesla, Alphabet, NVIDIA, basically almost the same type of portfolio. They do straight call options. So, and again, once I go over the dividend history on these guys, this is what makes things interesting. So we'll jump to RYLD. So the thing about QYLD, RYLD, and XYLD, they're not going to beat the S&P. They're not going to keep in line with the S&P. So I wanted to make sure um, I brought that point up. And again, this is not financial advice for entertainment purposes, only disclaimer in the description. But 
I own um, QYLD, RYLD, and XYLD, and I will be long in those guys. And I'm hoping when M1 Finance adds uh, QYLG and XYLG and DJIA, I can add those to my M1 Finance dividend portfolio and change the uh, percentage and distributions. So RYLD seeks to generate income through cover call writing, which historically produces higher yields and volatility. So it writes call options in the Russell 2000 index, saving investors the time and potential expense of doing so individually. Again, they have a 0.60% um, expense, rate, expense ratio right here. Uh, the yield is very high, so QYLD is very high as well. And these guys are 13.45, so they're very high compared to QYLD um, and XYLD, which I'll go over real quick. XYLD writes call options in the S&P 500 index, saving in investors the time and potential of doing so individually. Now, the yield's high, okay, but RYLD right now is, is a lot higher. And right here, um, the expense ratio is 0.60%. So again, you know, their data right here, I mean, this is their portfolio and um, things are looking pretty strong with these guys. This is, this is why I own them. But this is when things start getting interesting. So we'll jump to the dividend history. We're going to start with QYLD, just looking at their dividend history. At worst, it looked like it was 15, uh, 12 cents at one time. And you're going to get between, let's just say, 15, 16, 17 cents to, at best, maybe 24, 25 cents. Uh, at one point, they had a really big um, jump, which was like, right, where were we at? Um, I think there was one huge dividend. Um, well, it's not really a dividend. It's basically just passive income. Um, that they distributed, and it was right here in 2021, right at the end of December. You're not going to get that all the time at 49 cents. So let's just say 17 cents, 15, 16, 17 to 22 cents, is, uh, 23, maybe 24 cents. That's going to be a range of what you're getting. Now we're going to jump to RYLD. Again, with RYLD, I mean, the worst you'll get is 1366, just looking at the dividend trends. Um, at best, maybe 24 cents, 25 cents. At best, um, probably at worst, let's just say 17 cents to 24 cents is going to be a range. And it's 22.90 um, right now. So let's jump to XYLD. XYLD, I really like these guys between QYLD and RYLD. It's probably my favorite of the three of the cover call ETFs of those ones. Uh, but right here, you're going to, 21 cents was the worst. 36 cents, let's just say 36 cents to um, ranging maybe 45. I mean, you'll get 49 cents right here. So it's um, it, it's hard. It's a pretty big window. Let's just say 36 cents to um, 47 cents. You're going to get that range like right there. That's where it's going to stick at. But this is what makes things interesting with XYLG. And I wish that they had this added on M1 Finance. And eventually they will. But... This is what I like about XYLG, and you'll look at the dividend trends, and this is what makes these guys a really good potential long-term covered call ETF. Studying the dividend trends, you're seeing an, an increase over time with this. So 2020, it was 13 cents, okay? Then it hit 11 cents, but then it consistently stuck up there. Look at this special dividend right here at the end. Of the year but it's 14 right around 15 cents and it's going up so you see the growth opportunity and you see the covered call opportunity so the 50 50 right there has a possibility of really jumping its dividend over time 
and the price per share could go up. I mean, don't quote me on that, but there's potential for it to jump up and keep up with the S&P. So, I mean, it's almost like it's a really good Roth IRA um, ETF because, remember, income-wise, you know, you put it in a Roth in the long run, you know, you're not going to be taxed on that. And again, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, with the, the passive income or the dividend income putting in a Roth, you're kind of protected uh, that way. So it's it's a really good Roth IRA potential ETF as well. Same with QYLG. So let me know what you think of this video. If you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I'm going to post a video tomorrow as well. And um, I hope everything's going well on your side. This is Dark Dividend. You guys have a good one.